guys, welcome back to Tara Makes Up. I thought today I would show you the look I was wearing in the video I did with the lovely Lindsay Kelk in our kind of current favorite highlighters. Um, I did do this look over my blog. It is something using some of the pieces from uh, Violet FR with Estee Lauder Poppy Sauvage collection. I'm not sure if these will definitely still be in stock at the time of releasing this video. Um, if I can't find them in stock, I will link some alternatives down below and everything used will be in the description bar. So I hope you guys will forgive me that I have the fan on today, but it is very, very hot in Los Angeles and I will just be a hot, sweaty mess without it. So um, we will hopefully, won't be too much of a pain. Just prepping my skin with a bit of the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This one is such a good kind of moisture moisture moisturizer primer hybrid and i really like it before makeup um i'm gonna start first with my skin using the hollywood flawless filter by charlotte tilbury a lot of you guys have been asking me about this um i do kind of wish it was in a pump that's all i will say um it's a very very lovely product um i like it to kind of add luminosity before my foundation so i just tend to like put it kind of on the high points oh it's nice i've got a highlighter moustache um, and then you totally can use a brush, but I find kind of blending it in with my fingers works fine. Um, you can use this on top of foundation, underneath it. It's quite a flexible product in terms of like how you can use it. So I tend to just put it mostly like on the high points of my face, anywhere that I want a bit of lift, a bit of light reflection. Um, and I'm actually going out this evening for my birthday. So um, Dave's very kindly taking me out. And I thought the look that I did that I was wearing in the video with Lindsay, the uh, Violet FR for Estee Lauder, would be a nice one to do this evening. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do that makeup look basically. I'll link to the blog post as well where I mention the products and kind of review them a little bit more in depth. Um, the first thing I'm gonna start with is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. I really love this. I'm kind of halfway through the tube already. And I'm actually gonna use it today with a new brush that I've been playing with. Um, I actually, I don't know if they were listening, but I was uh, talking about this actually on full coverage. Someone asked the question if I had ever used Artiste brushes before. And at the time I hadn't, and they were saying, do I think they make makeup better? And I better, and I was like, well, I haven't really used them, so I can't say, but for me, I didn't see a need to use them. And um, they turned up uh, in my PO box, which was very, very lovely and surprising. And um, I've got to say, I feel like for me, the base brush, gonna show you I'm, I'm actually really into it guys and I didn't think I would be um, I don't think it's an essential but the whole trick is you almost start and you just smooth and buff so the foundation brush doesn't really leave the skin and you just use a very very light hand so you get quite a kind of perfected looking skin but I find you can really really buff the product in with this which I like I like the kind of backwards and forwards motion if you're used to using your normal foundation brush and you really love that, then no, you don't need this, but it is a very beautiful tool. Um, and I feel like this is a luxury tool. So I definitely recommend having a play, try it out, see how you find it. Um, I really, really like it with liquid foundations, especially more full coverage foundations, as I do find it tends to kind of really push it into the skin. It really melts it in. Um, and obviously I've had a play with all the Artiste brushes now. And I have to say my favorites are the base brushes. For me, I love the base brushes. Um, and very happy to recommend them. So as I said, they're not an essential, but they are a very, very beautiful luxury tool. And I feel like they make base apply very, very lovely. So just with what's left on the brush, just taking that a little bit into the brow. So next, I'm gonna go back to an old favorite. And I was actually thinking for a video, my next video or the one after the following one, because I've got a few coming up at the minute, I might do like a return to old favorites because I feel like I don't just wanna promote new products all the time. I feel like it might be good to revisit some really old favorites that I used either really early on on my channel or just things that I know I've had for ages and I'm loving. So let me know down below, give this video a like if you would like me to do that. Um, so just giving the brows a groom and I'm going to go in with this by um, Lancome. This is Sorcille Gel in number four. And I always forget how much I love this, guys, for brows. I feel like it's so good for when you want just a really soft, natural looking brow. It is more of a pomade, but I find the colour is excellent on me, especially if you have your brunette and you like something a little bit ashy. Um, and it's also very easy to make it look like extra hairs which I really, really like. So this has been one of those products I've been going back to a lot at the minute, actually. So 
it's a very nice soft to find natural looking brow so I'm just doing a little bit more on my arch and then I'm just gonna leave them pretty much like that I think for now and I think the main focus of this look really is the eye and the lip that is kind of where the magic happens um, I'm really into the eyeshadow palette I hope this comes back into stock so this one is the poppy Sauvage. Um, you've got the pinks the browns this chocolate brown is really great for doing the kind of chocolate dusted eye look I'll link that somewhere up here if you guys haven't seen that video um, but this is the star today so I'm taking this um, I'm gonna first use it with my finger just to get a good body of pigment onto the center I can see it really is like a foil almost when you use it with your finger so I'm just gonna pop that pretty much all over the lid, like the main part of the lid. And then I'm just kind of sweeping backwards and forwards with my finger, just sort of blending it over the lid. Then I am gonna take a brush. I'm just gonna use um, a kind of domed fluffy brush and I'm gonna go back into that pigment now so it's not quite as intense. But it does still pack a punch and just start to take that through the socket. Just with the fluffy brush and just kind of smoke out the edges back in with your finger and just layer into the center if you feel like you're losing any of that kind of foil shine always to give it a nice little pop back into the center of the eye and then i literally just did mascara with this guys i didn't do any uh eyeliner or anything like that with the look so and i actually like doing this eyeshadow not under the bottom lashes i mean you totally could um, but I kind of don't think you need to. So for me, I'm not going to. I might put some individual lashes on, I'm undecided, but I am gonna do some bourgeois um, volume reveal mascara to the top lashes. And then I think just to give the eyes a little bit more oomph, because my lashes are feeling very straight and not much volume at the minute, I'm gonna take some Ardell individual lashes and some duo glue, and I'm just gonna pop a couple of individual lashes into my lash line just to thicken up my lashes a little bit more. I'm going to have to bring my mirror quite close up for this just so I can actually probably feed it in. And don't worry about the glue, the glue will dry clear. And I think one more on this eye. And then I'm just going to do four on the other side. So I've done about four in the corner on this one and I'll do four on the other side. So while those are drying, I will go on to my concealer. And the concealer I've been obsessed with at the minute, guys, is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Um, this comes in so many shades. So I'm currently, I would say, number 22. I'm between sort of a 22 and a 24. Um, but let's start with some 22, just on the inner portion. And I'm going back to the Artiste brush. This is the Oval 4. So I'm just gonna start, and I do find that this is very, very nice for concealer. Very, very smoothing. Again, I tend to do the same thing, just very lightly patting the skin and just taking it, it kind of fits into kind of the grooves of the skin really, really nicely. And this is where, if you feel like you made any kind of mistakes with your eye work, you can just clean up and just sort of smooth it. Make sure everything's blended into the nose as well. So it looks really, really nice and natural but nice and lifted as well. It gives that kind of sculpted feel, which you guys know, I do think is very flattering. Um, for powder, I've got a new one to try. This is one by Kevin O'Quan, and similar to kind of the cushion foundations, it comes in like a little compact, which I'm actually really into. It feels, it's kind of like a spongy bit here. You can see the powder come out. Um, so I'm gonna take my Chanel powder brush, and I'm just gonna roll that into any areas that I want to set. So I'm just gonna set my concealer a little bit so it doesn't move. Just kind of rolling it really under the eye. And then just a little bit under here. I think we should go into the lip because that's an important bit. Um, actually, before we do that, we'll put some more mascara on the individual lashes. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the mascara on the bottom lashes and the top. So I'll start with the top lashes because then there'll actually be less mascara on the bottom ones anyway, which I kind of want. I just want a little bit of mascara. So this is where you get a nice little bit of volume now, especially if you've added a couple of individuals, just to kind of thicken up those outer corners. And then with just what's left on the brush, I'm just gonna go under the lashes, just so there's like a tiny bit of mascara on the bottom. 
feel like there does need to be just a little bit of definition, but I actually like the lid being kind of top heavy. And I'm pretty sure when I did this in the video I was doing with Lindsay, this was how I had the eyeshadow. Obviously the kind of key focus of this look is the lip. That really is where the punchiness is. And I do think this was a really true to violet FR color. So I was so excited by this. It was highlight of the week on full coverage pod. This is the Poppy Sauvage um, Pure Color MV Liquid Matte Lip Color. I believe it's sold out. Again, I will link to kind of similar things in the links below if it is sold out, but we're gonna apply this now. And this is full pigment, guys. And I like to start kind of pushing it into the lip first before I kind of build my shape just so I can get as much over the lip as possible. And then now I'm gonna go and perfect my shape. So for cheeks, I was undecided and I feel like I'm gonna go back to an old favorite. Now this is an expensive one, but I bloom and love it. And if it's not available, I will of course link to something down below. So if you guys remember this, this is Pink Swoon, I think it's called, or Pink, Pink Pearl, something. it's a Tom Ford one, and I just think this pink will be really nice to go with um, the look, basically. I think this is just a really pretty cream blush. I'm gonna use my fingers with it. You see, it's quite a nice shade. And I just think this will give a nice bit of life to the skin. Such a pretty pink. I think it's just gonna go really well with the kind of pinky eye. And it means I don't really need like a highlighter. I find this one gives a nice bit of reflection. And it has a little bit of like gold pearl in, so it gives that nice like ethereal, glowy looking skin, but in a very believable, natural way. Love, love, love this blusher. So, so good. So you can see it gives like a really highlighted, kind of dewy appearance. So I didn't do any powder around the sides of my skin actually, I just did it more um, in the T-zone which means I can go in with a bit more of the pink. I love this makeup look. I feel I feel very Parisian in it. Um, not really sure what my fringe is doing. Um, but there you have it, guys. You were asking for the look. Like I said, it is on the blog as well, which I will link to down below. Um, I'm going for dinner now, so I have a feeling it'll be pasta and pizza. This is gonna be pretty interesting. Check my Insta stories to see how that goes. I hope you guys are all really, well, really, really well. Um, don't forget, I'm on Blog Loving as well, so you can follow me at Harry Makes Up, so you never miss a blog post. I blog three times a week, and I try and get a video out at least once every two weeks. So um, I would love it if you subscribe, and I'll see you soon with more videos, guys. Let me know what you'd like to see more of. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.